Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can trace over videos or images in Flip Clip. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, Flip Clip is a free mobile application which you can use to create your own animations. Being on a blank background if you would so like, or you can insert your own background images if you would like and trace over them. Uh, or create animations over them and so on and so forth. The only thing is that you do need a premium version if you would like to export your projects without the uh, flip a clip watermark over the final product. Uh, you can also unlock other functionalities such as adding images or videos without the need to watch ads or completely eliminate ads from the app. However, that is all a bonus. What I am going to be showing you guys, as I've said, is how to trace over images. So let's get right into it. What you want to do first is add an image by clicking on the three dots in the top right and selecting add image. You can also go to project settings and click on this image icon and add your own image. However, that will set that image as the background for all slides and will be at the end animation. It will be in the actual animation video itself and that's not what we want to happen. What you want to do is click on the three dots and click add an image and let me just add an image quickly and I'll get back to you when I do. All right, as you can see, I have added an image of Shakespeare and I can zoom in and zoom out however much I would like or resize the photo uh, however I would like. I can stretch it, I can make it bigger, uh, make it fit the entire screen and so on and so forth. But yeah, as you can see, I have added the image and if I add another uh, slide or a frame, it does not show that image. So now what you can do is if you have a stylus, you can do that much more uh, accurately. However, I do not just select the brush and just trace over it. And once you do, you will have all the things saved. And when you actually play the animation, it shows the image. However, then you can just delete the image if you would so choose. And once you delete the image, uh, I don't know how to do that. Well, I guess you could do it like that. But yeah, you can just delete the image afterwards or just fill in the background and save your traced things there. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.